What's up, y'all? It's Lowell Bellinger here again to talk about another recent topic in regards to indigenous to the indigenous nation. So today we're going to talk about how COVID nineteen pandemic has uh, impacted the indigenous population and what we need to do to address the issues. So I'm going to read a quote for you guys here. So, so we're going to read a quote here from. Uh, uh, very popular indigenous leader. So, the long standing disparities that exist in the way of healthcare and health conditions put our people, our communities, at a much greater risk, said Dali Sembo the World, chair of the Inuit Circumpolar Council, an organization that represents 180,000 Inuit across Canada, the United States, Russia, and Greenland. So, basically, what the world is saying is that the government really needs to tailor its response to the COVID-19 pandemic to indigenous peoples. So the government has been doing good with giving these indigenous peoples uh, supplies, uh, protection gear in order to prevent the spread of COVID. But what really needs to happen to really break the cycle of pandemics really impacting the indigenous population, it all starts with the infrastructure. There's major infrastructure gaps that exist right now in the indigenous communities. So there needs to be more investment from the government to address these infrastructure gaps. And we're talking about uh, housing, we're talking about sewer, we're talking about water. Those are the things that's really going to make a difference. And it's really the root cause of all the issues that we have now, because most of these indigenous populations, they're overcrowded. They don't have access to, to clean and efficient water. While the federal government is telling these indigenous peoples to, to self-distance, isolate, wash and clean their hands when they're living in, when they're unable to do that because they're living in cramped conditions with a lot of them not having access to, to clean and accessible water. So it's a very ironic thing that's, that's going on here. But but when, what needs to happen is that there needs to be more investment by the federal government to close that infrastructure gap that exists in these indigenous communities. And that's how you really can tackle the root cause of what's really been going on for the past, uh, you know, past for as long as I can remember in regards to these indigenous populations. We need to close that infrastructure gap. And that will take care of a lot of the issues that really exist in this uh, pandemic in regards to indigenous people. So thank you for watching. Lowell Bellinger. Stay tuned because a lot more will come. We keep you guys consistently updated in regards to sustainability, indigenous, uh, and real estate topics. We talk about a lot of things that people do not talk about. So stay tuned.